What is up, Star Seeds? It's Sid, and tonight I am going to be talking about relationships. Now, not just romantic relationships, you can relate this video to any relationship in your life, okay? That be parents, kids, siblings, teachers, students, bosses, peers, friends, roommates, whatever. Now, let's get into it. Um, communication is really key. Uh, open and honest communication with everyone. So being honest with, you know, your partner, especially, or people that you really are close with, um, you can be the most open with, obviously. But being honest with everyone, being open to the extent that you want to be with everyone, um, if it involves them, be open about it. Be honest, always. And if you don't want to say something honestly, then don't be open about it. Um, this is Rambo, um, my roommate's cat, by the way. Um, so respect this is the next big thing in all forms at all times and I shouldn't really have to elaborate on this but I should so don't just be nice to someone for like a fraction of the day and then be an asshole for the rest of the day. It really doesn't make up for it. And it's really not okay. Um, this goes for everyone in all relationships. In the workplace, as, you know, a romantic relationship. Um, as a parent, as a kid. As a friend, as a sibling. Like I said before. Um, loyalty to the extent you agree to it you should give it now like I said all types of relationships so in the workplace you know is this just a, uh, just a part time job or are you like the owner you know how much can you handle are you being honest and open with this person in communication about your loyalty and respecting them. See, these all three intertwine. Um, that's pretty much all I really need to say about that. I want to say that relationships are good um, if you're growing together. And if not then, you know, you should not continue growing that bond and just continue growing yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, make time for that bond if it's important to you and you want to prioritize it. And if not, then that's okay. And you should not feel bad. Um, a channeled message I got if I did get one which I mean I did because I was writing something down for my little notes that I usually do for my videos and um, I was gonna write something slightly different but instead I wrote for romantic relationships especially if this is why you're watching this if this is why you clicked on it um, to keep to yourself is never wrong don't ever feel bad about not wanting to do something. I wrote that down. Those words in specific. So that is for whoever needs it. And um, I also want to just say that you can shift vibes and you can shift roles in people's lives. And that is how life is meant to work. And that is how I believe relationships work. I just go with the flow 
of all relationships and I believe that is how it should be okay so this life you know you can go from being friends to being in a romantic relationship to being you know possibly siblings in laws because you know you're with their sibling now or something life's crazy you this is what I believe if you don't believe this it's okay but in a past life you could be someone's kid this life you could be their kid again or you could be their sibling this life or their friend this life you could have been someone's friend in a past life in this life you're their sibling or you're their lover um you know roles in relationships always shift just like everything in life shifts and you know having healthy and happy relationships is very important and deciding whether or not you want to prioritize relationships in your life is really key as well so remember communication respect and loyalty um, keep your priorities straight and, um, you know, respect yourself first, love yourself first, and make sure you keep to your boundaries. Don't let anyone disrespect you and mm -hmm, chase your dreams, honey. <laughs> I hope you have a great week. I am going to be back next week with um the beginning of a little like four week thing um how fire signs handle relationships how earth signs deal with relationships how air signs you know interact in relationships and how water signs do in relationships as well so that will be really fun um yeah stay tuned love and light and the hybrid children are coming soon <laughs>